well, you and me, we're gonna be best of friends. <coughs> oh, that's a good point. They'll never know what hit them. <coughs> to not? Well, uh, let me think about that. I'm not quite sure. <coughs> that is brilliant. I'm in. <coughs> Whoa! You just may be the most evil being I've ever met, motherfucker. Okay, people, welcome back to another Foosh review. Today, let's take a look at the Jazzwares Fortnite Legendary Series Brawler's Kit. Fortnite six-inch action figures have been kind of a hot topic for the past few weeks. Hasbro's got the license for next year. Is Jazzwares going to continue making more this year? Is this all we're going to see? Are they going to make characters we already have? Are they going to be awesome? Will they match up with the Jazzwares stuff? With all that swirling around in my brain pan, I figured... I just got this in the mail. Might as well take a look at it, right? Looking at the package that I can't quite fit all onto the screen. The Brawler series is bigger than the regular line. It's for bigger characters. Plus, it seems to come with, well, I don't know if you can call it more accessories. Still though, it's the more deluxe accessories. The ones that shoot, the ones that break down, etc. On the side, just window, Fortnite logo. On the back, a shot from the game. <laughs> Shows that the grappler shoots the plunger, the double barrel shotgun breaks down, and down here is, well, nothing new. I'm guessing Meowsles is his father? On the other side, window, Fortnite on top, more window. On the bottom, warnings, and I was about to blurt out the usual, don't put them in your mouth, but it actually says, do not aim at eyes or face. Go shoot your eye out, kid. Logos, UPC, Jazzwares. Let's get this open and see what's going on here. It seems like a lot of the times the bottom is the easiest. I, mean, I guess you could use this as a background or something. Transforms! <laughs> oh, shit. Damn, that's tight. I really don't want this falling out before you actually open it. I was hoping for this. Disconnect torso from legs. Place legs on the back of the seat. Connect the pegs on the back of the seat. The whole back of the shoulder pads can be removed to enhance range of motion while posing. So silly, so awesome, so damn fun. I absolutely love the design of this, which is mostly on Epic Games. It's their design, but oh, Jazzwares, you did a fantastic job of translating this into plastic form. There is a simplicity to it, and you look at it and you think, eh, it's not very detailed and it's kind of flat here and there, but once you get into it, it is complex. Way more articulation than you expect. Take all the colors away and it's a symmetrical design. Bring the colors back. There's a beautifully subtle asymmetry to it. Cream and brown to one shoulder pad. You flip it around. There's some green with little hints of brown. The yellow double elbow on the left. You come around. There's green on the right. White on the back of the hand. There's green on the left. Get down to the legs. The colors even out for both sides. But then you have different nicks to the knee pads. There's a strap around the left leg leg not on the right little itty bitty things the blue on the waist piece doesn't match the <laughs> whatever the torso motorcycle gas tank fish bones for the license plate some red for the tail lights some orange coming out of the appropriately placed tail pops a lot of the parts are molded in a silver color which totally works because of the splashes in color in places. Like I mentioned, a lot of the sculpt work is fairly simple, just cylinders coming up for the arms, coming down around for the motorcycle handles, pads and, and leather-ish type material. Kind of a gear look to the back of the leg, almost paw-like at the feet, which makes sense because, you know, the cat up on top, it is its own entity. Mostly it's cast in white. At first I thought this was a paint smudge, but that's actually part of the design. That, I think, is a paint smudge though. It's not just scraping off. Still looks cute as hell. Now you look at the mech, you think, oh, there's some thin parts, there's articulation points, this leg kicking back like it does. It's probably a bit of a bear to get standing. And you would be correct, it takes a little bit of balancing to get it to stand straight up and down. In fact, when I first pulled it out of the package, I was trying to stand it with the legs straight up and down or kick just barely and this right leg has a looseness to it it may have been me in the packaging trying to get it the hell out of the tray i pulled on the leg and then i thought oh i better not do that because the left doesn't have near that amount of flop to it but despite having several joints there is a neutral position this lower double knee joint i guess you could call it or the back of the dog leg it only goes to here and that's where the plastic hits plastic so i've been using that as the neutral position kicking the upper knee joint back and then using the ankle to stabilize. It's usually 
pretty stable once I get it in a standing position. Don't get me wrong, you can get action poses to it, but it is slightly more fiddly than your standard super articulated action figure. And then of course, as always, bring up the hands. I may have liked them in the beginning as kind of a, oh, that's a callback to Toy Biz Marvel Legends figures. But now when I try to put an accessory in it, which we'll get to, it's just not as secure as I would like it to be. But going over articulation, yeah, we'll start with this. There is a swivel at the neck and then there's swivels at each shoulder so you can raise the arm up or bring it down. And that's about it here. And this may be humanoid shaped, but the articulation kind of strays away because there is a forward and back, I would say butterfly, but it's really just a rod and a peg sticking up and that rotates on top of it. From there, there is a hinge that you can bring out to there, but because of the design, there's no forward and back. You have to kind of fake it by rotating forward and then raising that hinge at the shoulder, which totally works but it's different than the other 99.9% .9 of the action figures I have. It takes a minute to, for me to go, oh, I have to do this and bring it around and bring it back. Is a swivel at the top of the bicep, double elbow, obviously goes all the way up. In fact, oh, it goes even further than that. Look at that. Swivel at the wrist, hinge in and out, which I don't like for a trigger finger hand. The articulated fingers open up. I kind of wish the wheel rolled on this axle because in this mode, it would have been an ab crunch. I don't know why they didn't go that way. Maybe it's an engineering thing. I, I what do I know? But there is a swivel at the waist. Hinge and swivel at the hip comes well, forward all the way. Goes back, out, one click, then it starts running into each other. It's about 45. Swivel above the knee. Hinge here and hinge here. This can go back until those rods run into the back of the thigh. Can straighten all the way down and bring that here too, or goes back that far. Rotation at the shin. Hinge at the ankle goes back, goes forward. Forward facing pin for some rocker, and then a toe joint that goes to about right there. For accessories, ah, uh, which one's the accessory? There's peg holes in the bottom of the kitten, pegs on the top here plugs in securely. Looks good riding up top. Comes with two of these spinner blade things. Well, I say spinner, they don't actually spin. Some silver paint, the basic details that you see in the game. Just, I don't know, I like dual wield. They aren't opposites though, they are the same. The fingers do open up. Put this a little behind the thumb, then close it up. And it stays tight for a minute, but as you're posing around, the weight of it starts working itself loose. Of course, you're gonna keep holding it this time. Okay. It comes with a grappler. The neat little translucent blue plastic lets you see the inner spring and the latch. You know how this works. You pull the trigger, it shoots out. String's only that long, so you're not gonna get too far. The left is more loose. It just, I don't know, it depends. But honestly, this is my favorite that comes with it. Just plain old double barrel shotgun. It does break down so you can load it because of, you know, realism. But more than that, it also has the trigger guard, which always helps when you have this. You can actually put it on the trigger finger and then close it up. It helps hold it in there. Yeah! <laughs> then there's the transforming feature, which will take this off. And the instructions also say to pop the shoulder pads off. I'll show you why in a minute. Simply pop the body apart, push the legs forward. You got a peg hole back here between the tailpipes and then a peg on the seat back. I don't know if it was the way mine was packaged or something, but you see how that peg goes forward. It doesn't go in unless you crank this way back. Plug it in. And I've seen different configurations. Some people have the legs up, some pictures have the legs out, but I've been bringing the leg down and putting the feet on these bars. And then the arms look kind of cool if I have them forward and grabbing the legs, but a lot of pictures from the game have the arms flying out. And that's why you take the shoulder pads off. If those were still on, they'd be slamming into the leg right there. You can't lift the arm with them on. Again, no rolling wheel. And now that I have it in this mode, I realize why. Everything balances on that wheel. If it did roll, it just, psh, 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 psh. you'd need to stand or have the arms holding it up or something as is. There's a flat part where it attaches to the waist, stands right up. And this looks good if you want it down, rolling around in vehicle mode. I, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't know why I said that. You can do whatever the hell you want with your toys. But me, I like a good robot mode. In the game, I think the tail pops do kick up further. There is some rotation, but I think that's a square peg. It's not supposed to turn. Well, it does go up or I'm tearing it, something. The further I turn it, the looser it feels. Yeah, I don't like it. Robot mode for me. Even with the legs cranked down as far as they will go in the most stable position, Kit stands at six and a quarter inches tall, but all the way extended, it's about seven and a quarter inches tall. But I like putting the legs about right there. And there it's about six and three quarters, which is still taller than a lot of the other regular Jazzwares Fortnite Legendary Series figures like Rabbit Raider and Tomato Head. and can even go toe to toe with Agent Peely and Beef Boss. What? Nobody. 
I said nobody goes toe to toe with me. But if you're interested in doing a custom or fitting this in to another display, here it is with more standard six inch lines like the Hasbro Star Wars Black Series Stormtrooper and the Marvel Legends Black Panther. So at the end of the day, do I have to say it again? Really? This is just big, dumb fun. And I do not mean dumb in a bad way. It's just that you can pick it up and you think, oh, I want to do this pose. I'll put it in this pose and it does that pose and it looks badass, but there's also a silliness to it and a cuteness. And why is my brain thinking like this? Maybe it's the dichotomy I love. There's a softness. Oh, I want to pet the kitty. And there's an edginess. Oh, metal parts. And I guess that's true for the whole Fortnite line. Maybe that's why I like everything so much. But it also helps that they're kick-ass action figures. If they weren't great action figures, I would not be doing anything Fortnite. But nope, Jazzwares had to knock it out of the park. They started with kicking ass and they just continue to kick ass. And that's why I have every Legendary Series figure there is. So it hurts a bit to see them go, I, but hopefully they'll keep pumping out the rest of this year. I want to see more. I want to get as much as I can before we see what Hasbro gives us. Bottom line, if you haven't got kit yet, get kit. And if you're about to comment Fortnite sucks, why did you click on the video? Come on. If you enjoyed the review, comment, like, subscribe. Much, much love to the plus if you're interested in seeing videos early or just in a position to help out the channel, patreon.com. But wherever you may be watching this, I always catch you on the foosh. We're gonna be best of friends. Oh, you make a good point. That may be too early. I've got other things to do. You are impatient and I love it. I can respect that. Hmm, let me think about it. I'm in. Oh, you, you. Whoa, whoa, you just may be the most evil being I've ever. Whoa, whoa, mother.